Today in New York City is not unlike many days in the life of John Orozco from the Bronx in New York. It's about overcoming adversity, and his road to this American Cup is a lot like the streets of New York, filled with human potholes. I just want to say thank you to everyone that came here, family, friends, your all family. It wouldn't have been possible without every one of you. Oh, I love him. I don't have to act like I love him. Him. Gymnastics in the Bronx? It's basketball, it's football, it's baseball, soccer. If I didn't really have that many friends, kids were not accepting around me. When was the last time anybody from New York has gone into gymnastics? It's not a choice on the table here in the Bronx. It's just not. Obstacles. John Orozco knows almost everyone. Start with where he's from. The Bronx? Are you kidding? Next came money. For the first three years, we were making out okay. Then we started falling behind. He would hear us talking about the mortgage and paying and how we were going to make the bills. And he went to the gym and he asked the owner and the coach, can I work? I knew we were struggling. You know, that's not something kids should know. Whatever I can do for my family was the main priority. And he got in the car and he said he had that pay the mortgage. <laughs> What'd he do? For him to step up that way, it was it was big. It's still big, you know? We don't have riches, but we have a great family. As John moved up the ladder, the progression was impressive. But then, on a very important day, he had to deal with life. At one, the first day of juniors, and then I was going to compete the senior competition. I got the phone call from my oldest son, and he said, something's wrong with Dad. I picked up the phone and said, Dad, what's wrong? And he says, I might not be here when you get here. They said, you probably won't make it back in time. It's bad. You know, my dad had a stroke when I was out there competing. So I told him, he says, let's go home. And I said, your father will want you to finish. John was such a professional, you would have never known. He was just out there, he did what he had to do, and that was it. I won the all-around competition. I dedicated that to my father. Looking at him now, is, it's a remarkable recovery. In the end, it was good. John just learned to be a stronger person for it. John's rise was a dream, driven by the sport, but supported by world championships and the Olympics. Then came the pain. 2010 rolls around, competing in my first senior national meet. Everything was going great, you know, in the competition. So I, I went to do my vault and I, I felt something wrong immediately in the air. I landed, I took one step, I said, wait, what was that? I start, tried to take another step, I said, oh no, this is bad. And when I saw John sit down, I knew it was bad. They uh, confirmed that I had a 90% Achilles tear. I worked so hard for this, and this is what happens. Why? I told him, you know, John, father made it, you can do it. You can't quit. I never quit on you, you can't quit on me. I got hurt, there's nothing I can do about it. I said, you know what, I'll just improve on the weaknesses that I had, not involving my foot. I had work to do on pommels. If he hits this routine right here, he is going to be on the 2011 world team. I think that does it. I'm finally here. I'm finally where I want to be. Finally made the team. I finally medaled at the Visa Championship Senior Competition. Finally, I'm going to World Championships. It's all, it's all happening. Double pike and a great landing. This is going to move him up. I can't thank you guys enough. This is why I give it everything I have, not only for myself, but for everyone that's helped me. I'm not going to let your efforts and my efforts you know, be in vain. So, thanks. From Sammy's Fish Box on City Island come the brothers Eric, Manny, and Jason. Sister Jessica's probably not far away. The mom is Damaris. The dad is William, who obviously overcame the stroke. And he has not overcome that Achilles injury totally, but this had nothing to do with that. No, it did. He was totally off balance on that. And as a parent, it is crushing. And now mom and dad have left their seats maybe they either want to watch from a different spot or can't watch <laughs>